and welcome to this, the second video in the Tales of Yesterbeer um, series where I look at old, interesting and historic beers. Um, following on from the Fuller's Strong X from 1914 in their Past Master series, we're trying another one of their Past Masters beers. Uh, this is the 1981 ESB. Um, 1981 being 11 years before I was born, so a very long time ago for me, perhaps not so long ago for some of you viewers. Anyway, I, I think I've had this beer on cask before at St Albans Beer Festival, I think I have, um, but uh, yeah, so this is the bottled version. Uh, since 1845, the recipe of every beer brewed at the Griffin Brewery has been handwritten in the Fuller's Brewing books. The Past Master series is a glimpse into our unique brewing history, recreating authentic beers from the rich archive. The 1981 ESB is the ninth beer in the Past Master series. I also think it's the last Past Master beer they've done. Uh, we've brewed something extra special to celebrate the career of Fuller's legendary brewer, John Keeling, who retires in 2018 this year. This full-bodied, fruity beer uses the extra special bitter recipe from John's first day at Fuller's in January 1981. Um, bottle conditioned. So it's um, slightly chilled, not too chilled. Anyway, let's open it up. Good piss. Very bitter garden sort of notes. Caramel on the nose uh, into this very unusual shaped pipe glass. Oh, that's got a bit of fizz to it. Look at that concentration there. Right, there's a little bit of yeast sediment in the bottom, not much to mind. Right, so colour, um, sort of golden amber, red, reddish, reddish hues. Um, there you go, gold amber, red, red amber. Um, fairly pretty clear as well as you can see. Lots of bubbles. I don't know if this is a new. I don't think this is a nucleated glass, but mm, very lively. On the nose, um, hints of caramel and orange. Um, Yeah, it smells like a, a decent enough bitter. Hmm. Alright, let's dive in. 1981 ESB. It's very, very lively, very, very bubbly. Oh, hit of chocolate malt there, that's quite nice, fairly bitter, 5.5%, so yeah, that was interesting, that's a sort of a, a whack of um, it's like chocolatey malt, um, that was interesting, unexpected. Sort of some toffee notes as well, sort of toffee, caramel, Hint of chocolate malt, sort of that maltiness as well. Mm. 
onto the hops. A very sort of fruity hop presence there. Um, not fruity as in like modern fruity hops, but like um, <clears throat> sort of slight hints of citrus, but mainly um, sort of floral um, citrus. Perhaps hints of berries as well. That sort of bitterness. Mm. Right, I'm going to have a bit more of this and then give my final thoughts. So I've just used my magic wand to uh, try and <laughs> get rid of some of the bubbles and that was the result. It's a very, very um, highly carbonated beer. Um, more so than I like. Um, so I'm just trying to cut that back a bit. Um, yes, I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you in a sec when it's a little bit more drinkable. So I've knocked back a bit of the carbonation, um, well, actually most of the carbonation, and it's made it a lot smoother to drink. Mm. That's nice now. That's just about right. Um, I'm not into. I'm not a huge fan of fizzy beers. Um, yeah, but that's that's just about right now. Mm. Very easy to drink, very smooth. As I said, you still get that sort of um, chocolate crystal malt taste to it. Um, and that's followed by this, this bitterness. Um, it's a hoppy sort of floral bitterness. Um, hints of citrus perhaps, but very faint. Um, mm. Mm, that's nice. It's very green tasting. Um, hints of perhaps bitter marmalade as well, possibly. Um, all in all, that's very pleasant. It'll be interesting actually. If I had another bottle of this to compare this ESP with their current ESP, just to see which one's better and uh, how much difference there is between the two. It'll actually be a very interesting video to do. If I find another bottle of this, and I think there are still a few because this is the most recent of the past masters, so you say brewed. If I can find another bottle of this, I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. 1981 ESB versus <coughs> 2018 ESB and see what we uh, come up with. But no, as for this, as I said, some good malt character, crystal malt, chocolate malt, caramel, toffee, um, bitter marmalade, uh, sort of floral bitterness as well. It's a very smooth beer. Um, I'd say that's a good ESP as well. Um, I was thinking perhaps it possibly lacks a punch of some of the ESPs I've had recently. Um, but perhaps not. Hmm. Oh well, it's a good beer. I think this one's still available to buy. Um, about seven pounds, seven eight pounds, I think it is. Um, so well worth buying if you can get hold of it. But as I say, if I get hold of another bottle, I'll do a, an ESB off between the current one and the historic one. See what the difference is. Anyway, yeah. So we've gone from nineteen fourteen to nineteen eighty one. Um, yes, thank you very much for watching, all the best, and I shall see you all again soon, I'm sure. Au revoir.